All right, welcome back CNET super fans. Welcome back to our live coverage of CES 2018. I'm Claire Riley and with me is Walter Nagaro here to show us a really cool spin on an old school Pong game. We've been playing quietly before we started during the break and I am not going well. Um, so this is, you're probably familiar with the old school Atari game, Pong, um, but this is kind of like an updated coffee table version of the game. I'm, I'm really, okay, all right, I've, I've not done well at this. So what we've got here is a physical coffee table and this isn't actually a digital screen. We've actually got physical sliders here knocking a Pong ball back and forth. Walter, why have you decided to make a physical coffee table version of Pong? Well, the first place, the, the, the guy that created this, uh, he wanted to make a homage uh, to the first video game in history, which was Pong back in the 72. Um, he wanted to also incorporate uh, design uh, things to it, make it to make it functional. Uh, we incorporate also speakers uh, through Bluetooth where you can reproduce music and also play the game. And we wanted to, you know, take some distance of the classic uh, digital, uh, that kind of thing that okay. are very popular today. So. All right, so I'm going to serve it to you. Just press the button. Yeah, that's right. The thing that I'm not going great at is getting the angles. Like, I used to play this when I was really young, and I always sucked at those, like, side angle balls. But I love it how this just kind of zooms back. How did you, um, how are we controlling this? Because it looks like it's a physical bar. How are you actually controlling that? Well, underneath the table. Well, he has uh, a full mechanism of motors with pulleys and magnets on case skates okay. that are sliding so underneath. So magnets sliding yeah, underneath magnets, the table. Yeah. It's like when you play with magnets beneath, between a, beneath a table, you know, trying to move them around. Okay. That's kind of the concept. All right, so it's pretty simple and kind of high tech and low tech at the same time. It's ugly, yeah. And it's probably, a, oh gosh, I'm not going great. This is a zero to it's four game. To play, <laughs> Is it hard to play, or am I just really terrible at this? Or is it no, day one of CES and I'm already got some city no, miles on me? We are, you know, on a beginner's speed. You know, this is beginner speed. Yeah, yeah, what speed. happens if we go to higher speed? Well, it will go really fast. I get so owned. You couldn't catch the ball. <laughs> okay, awesome. And there's also, okay, so it's first to seven. Um, hasn't worked ideally for me. There's also a. Um, there's also a Bluetooth speaker. It may be a little out on stage. I don't know how we go, but you can play your own music through and you sync it up. Okay. And it's got, has it got a solo and two-player mode? You, uh, you can play against the IA of the machine. Ah, okay. you can play against, you know, a All friend. Right. Uh, or an enemy, or a or sworn an enemy. enemy. Of course. I'll play against a sworn enemy. So what's the, what's the AI like if I try against AI? How smart is your AI? Go ahead. All right, one player. Oh, gosh. See? The AI isn't as cruel as you are, Walter. <laughs> or maybe it is. Well, you're, you're, you're I'm holding my own. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Ah. And so how long have you guys been developing the table? Because it's obviously, you've gone through prototype stages. Yes, exactly. Well, the idea, the conception of idea was, you know, by Daniel, who was, Pardomo, who is the creator, was uh, 2014. 2014, all right. Yeah, and it was, uh, you know, a long way. Yeah, from there, the company was invited to the Wire Exhibition, was one of the only companies uh, in the Americas to go there. And from there we got to get Kickstarter. Kickstarter was a major success. A Kickstarter. So how much yes. did you raise through your Kickstarter? Uh, we were asking for 250 and we got uh, 335k. Yeah. Wow, that's Most amazing. Um, I really love that I'm doing interview beast mode here where I have to like <laughs> talk to you whilst playing yeah. a relatively simple game, but I just cannot do it. This is like... It's uh, you're, you're quite good. You're five to three only. Uh, well, in October, uh, last year, we signed an exclusive manufacturing and distribution agreement with Unis Technologies. Which and is so you're starting to sell it now. That's the yeah. that's a great yeah, thing. Yeah. So who's who's going to be what? Who's going to be buying one of these? Is this it's around? It's twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Twenty seven ninety nine. Uh, we we'll, we'll expect to see this. I know at homes, at bars, clubs. Centers, Why is that sound so cruel? Why do you have to just make it sound like I'm a failure? Do you want to play two player again? Okay, let's go. It's on. Okay, so we're just choosing highest number yeah. plays first. All right, right, you serve. So do you reckon the super fans are going to... You reckon the super fans are going to buy this or do you reckon it's more likely that I'll go and play it well, down at my local pub? We think it's game for everyone, you know. Yeah. Uh, kids from 31 to 80 years old who have uh, experienced the Atari area and also want uh, some, you know, eating with design that they can put on the living room or recreation area. Okay. 
Also, the bars because you can have a beer on it, a pizza. Yeah. Water, I kind of don't want. want to have it in my living room because it'll be a reminder of my constant failings. Uh, oh, yeah. Corner shot. Oh, good. So, how much Pong have you played now developing this game? How much Pong do you have played? I, I don't keep the number. Too many hours? <laughs> Would you say you're go. a bit of a pro? I don't know if a pro, you know. Daniel Perdomo, the, the guy that created this, he, he, beats, he beats me all the time. <laughs> all right, look, uh, yes. Okay. I'm not great at this. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for joining thank us today. You.